Welcome back to Toxic Pages and Coffee. All right, you guys, so let's jump straight into this video. So I'm very excited to talk to you about this book today. I have been waiting and holding off and, you know, trying to get a couple videos in, but I was like, no, let's do this right now. I'm very excited to talk to you about this book. Um, this is one of my favorite books. I I absolutely love it. Um, it's just, oh my goodness. So let's just talk about it. I, I'm talking about Stolen by Lucy Christopher. This book right here had me in my feelings. I just, oh my goodness. I, it's just, I literally, among others, thought I had Stockholm Syndrome because I, I, I could not feel, not feel bad for Ty. I just was like, oh, Ty, free Ty. That's what I, I almost got me a free Ty t-shirt. Okay. I, I just free that man. Anywho, so let's jump right into this. Again, we are um, talking about Stolen by Lucy Christopher. If you have not read this yet, I advise you to jump off of this video, go read it, and then come on back here because you you need to read this first again this is going to contain a ton a ton of spoilers i am spoiling it so if you haven't read it jump on off and come on back so um this book starts off with uh where is ty and Gemma. Gemma is 16 years old i do not remember how old ty is i know he's a couple years older than um Gemma. i want to say maybe 18 to 20. I, I cannot remember um how old he is um yeah, poor Ty. He 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 kidnaps Gemma and you know I know kidnapping is wrong. You you shouldn't do it. And you know, but Ty just wanted to be loved. That's all he did. He just wanted he wanted to be loved. He was a good man, okay? Okay, so, <laughs> and I, I, I brought my notes out for this because that's how serious I am about this dog on review, okay? Let me take my sip of my coffee. Let's get into it. Okay, so Ty is described as, and I think this is the first reason why I fell in love with Ty. No matter what he did, I, I, I love this man, okay? So, I have a real thing with, with men with blue eyes. If you have blue eyes, then my panties is melting okay so let's just say that and i i know y'all like what did she just say I, I said it i sure did so ty is described as having ice blue eyes and oh my god it's a, so it's levels to the blue eyes okay it is levels to this so you could have blue eyes you can have ocean blue eyes you can have water blue eyes and you can have ice blue eyes and who child it's the ice blue eyes that really be getting me and she said that ty had ice blue eyes and right then and there take me handcuff me tie me up in your dungeon if you would like but take me so back to what i was saying because i will get all off subject so anyway <laughs> So, yeah, so Ty is described as having ice blue eyes, and I think that's what she wanted us to know, that Ty is a very, very attractive man. So, you get the sense that why is Ty kidnapping somebody if he's so attractive, and what is going on with him, why he can't just go out and find a regular girlfriend and live a regular life if he's so attractive and i think that we needed to understand that ty was broken inside you know ty had some he had some things going on and and you know in the inside he was he was broken but so was Gemma, and i think that that's what drew ty to her is because Gemma was just as broken inside her parents really didn't pay no attention to her you know and that's how she ended up wandering off inside of that airport to go get coffee because you know her parents weren't they weren't as attentive to Gemma as they should have been and so that's how she ended up getting kidnapped and and Ty watched her I think it said for over a year before he ended up finally making his move to kidnap her so you know it wasn't like this was a random kidnapping um <laughs> let's say this 
kidnapping is we're, we're not gonna make light of the situation ty kidnapped her it, it, we all know kidnapping is bad. We we know this. And I don't ever want you all to think that I'm like, oh no, you know, it's okay. It it's not okay what Ty did. It's it's not. But we're just gonna leave the butt alone, okay? Anyway. So he drugged he drugged Gemma. Um he put something in her coffee and drugged her. Um and he took her to the desert. Now, they were out in, like, the middle of nowhere. Out in the outback. Literally, the middle of nowhere. There was there was no, no, nobody around. There was just a shack that he took her to. Pretty well prepared. I mean, he had food and medicine to last for ages. Ty had planned on them being there until they were old and gray. And then they were going to die right there in that check. Gemma wasn't going nowhere. Do you hear me? Nowhere. <laughs> so, um, Stolen is a, <laughs> I know I'm getting, gonna get flack for saying it, but Stolen is a love story. It is. Stolen is a love story, a love survival story, because in the midst of it, Gemma does start to actually care for Ty like after she gets there you know he has her tied up but then she realizes that you know she starts looking and patting herself down trying to make sure her underwear is still on and Ty's right there and he like I haven't touched you I'll never touch you you know unless you say it's okay the whole time that he has her there he never touches her um you know in any inappropriate way he may have kidnapped her but he doesn't touch her in an inappropriate way he tells her i want you to fall for me i want you to fall in love with me and she's like what the f you kidnapped me how i'm gonna how am i gonna fall for you and you know it's it's he tries to get her to be comfortable with him, even though like, hey, sorry I kidnapped you, but I want you comfortable with me. You can be, you can build a life here with me. You know what I'm saying? You, you can, the more I talk about this, the more it's disturbing it gets, but you have to read it. Like it sounds disturbing, but it's it's not. It, it is, it's disturbing because he kidnapped her. It is Jennifer, it's disturbing. Poor Ty, leave Ty alone. <laughs> Ty wanted, he wanted a friend and he wanted, he wanted a friend and he wanted to make Gemma happy. That's what he wanted. He went about it the whole, the complete, wrong way by kidnapping her but he wanted a friend and he wanted to make her happy ty was a good good man he was just he was in a bad situation and i can't, and i always quote that to my cousin and it's from love it's from a uh, wedding to exhale and he was a good man just in a bad situation um he Ty had an endless supply of food, medical supplies. He had a homemade garden. He had an art supply room. Um, Ty was a he was her abductor, but he was also her protector. Like every time she tried to run off, like he would constantly tell her, like Gemma, don't go anywhere because I'm gonna have to save you. There's absolutely nowhere for you to go. There's poisonous snakes out here. There's nothing but dangers out here. Like I'm the only saving grace that you have. And Gemma kept trying it and she kept trying to leave him. And it's like every time he would find her, she'd be dehydrated on the brink of death. And he'd be like, see, told you, I told your ass to sit still. And he would have to, you know, carry her home, get her back home and like, you know, nurse her back to health. And it's just like, at some point you started yelling in the book, Gemma, just stay there. Like, you know, you can't go anywhere. Just stay there. And she eventually realized, like, I have nowhere to go. I can't escape him. So I might as well start trying to like him. And eventually, like I said, Gemma started liking Ty. Because Ty was not, he wasn't so bad. The only bad thing that Ty did was kidnap her. And I know you guys are screaming at me right now, screaming at your screens. What do you mean the only thing? I know that's the biggest thing, but that's also the only thing. Because usually when someone gets these books that you read where 
people are kidnapped. They are kidnapped, beaten, and raped, and eventually killed. Literally, Ty kidnapped her. He kidnapped her to protect her. Because you you off like I said, Gemma was was literally neglected by her family. And she didn't feel she didn't she didn't feel, you know, that loved by her parents at all and stuff like you know, stuff like that. So he thought that he was doing her a favor. Was he, did he go about it the wrong way? Yes. Should he have kidnapped her? No. But, damn it, leave Ty alone. <laughs> so, in the end, toward, in the end, Gemma, you know, eventually was like, okay, I, I like you, Ty, but I need to get the hell away. I want to go back home. She never did really truly surrender and stop trying to fight to get back home. So in the end, she um, ran off and uh, she made it pretty far. She got bitten by a snake though and Ty you know of course found her because he always found her and he thought that he had the antidote for the snake bite and it ended up not working because it got too far so um he ended up driving to uh where he knew some people were that could get help and he was gonna just you know leave her there and then he ended up driving to um he was gonna just leave her there. I'm trying to. It's been a. It's been a minute. I'm trying to remember the exact details. I can't get get you to the exact details of that part. But I know in the end, um, they went to like the the helipad where the helicopter is, and he was gonna walk away from her right there. And Gemma didn't want to let his hand go, so he like oh, okay. So he ended up hopping in a helicopter with her, knowing that once we get to the main city, you know, I'm gonna get arrested. So Ty sacrificed his freedom, even though he kidnapped her. So technically, you know, he was gonna have to pay the price for that eventually. He sacrificed his freedom, and they landed. They found out who Gemma was. They like, oh, you're the one who brought her here. So you're the one who kidnapped her. He eventually got arrested. Gemma told him the story. Comes down to the end of the book. Now it's the day in court. You realize that this whole book is about basically Gemma writing a letter to Ty. So this is her letter. This is, you know, her telling her story. It's a letter to Ty, basically. And at the end of the book, I was literally screaming because... It comes down to the court date and you know she's basically trying to figure out if she's gonna say um no I don't want him to go to jail or I went with him voluntarily or so you know something of that nature and you're like you're screaming at the book like tell them you know don't lock him up tell him tell them it's okay and in the end she doesn't do it and Ty goes to prison and you're like he took care of you. I understand that, you know, he kidnapped you, but he took care of you. He he took care of you. And even Gemma said that in the book, he took care of her. So it's just like, but he still was her abductor. And I think even she was trying to figure out if she had Stockholm Syndrome. So it's just, this whole thing is just one big ball of what the fuck. And it makes you feel like you don't really know yourself because you are trying to figure out what is going on in your mind where you feel so connected with Ty and so disconnected with the victim. And it makes you feel bad. Well, it will make a regular person feel bad and probably will make you all feel bad. I literally was screaming for Ty, like, don't send him to prison. And even now, years later, I think this was published in, I, I didn't write when it was, I, it, even years later, it's like, um, I want a sequel. I want a part two. I want Ty's perspective. I want 
to know what happened to Ty after he got out of prison. Did he did he ever find love? Did he is he okay? What's going on with Ty? I want Lucy, I want to know like what is going on with Ty? And I think this was this was a while ago that this was written. I wanna this was I mean a while ago. And it's it, it it's literally like I want to know what, what happened with Ty. And guys read stolen. It it's it's so good. It it really is. It is so good. And if you don't feel bad for Ty by the time you are done reading this, then something's wrong with you. Something is wrong with you, seriously. It's no way. I mean, I understand. I feel, I do feel for Gemma. I do. But at the same time, you have to realize that Ty literally, he, I can't say he didn't do anything to her because he kidnapped her. But he didn't do anything after that. <laughs> he was a good man. Ty was a good man. He was. He wanted, he just wanted a friend. He did. He just wanted a friend. And like I said, he wanted a friend and he wanted to make Gemma happy because he seen that she was not happy. He he followed her for a year. He followed her for a year. And then I, I'm trying to remember because it was a detail that I missed. And um something something happened with them inside of a park before. Um Gosh, I should have reread it. I've read it so many times and I cannot remember what happened in the park. Something happened with them in a park before and she like fell asleep in a park or something because she got into an argument or something with her mom um, or some boys did something to her or something like that. It's, oh, it's, this was one of the best books that I read and it really made you rethink the whole people only kidnap people to hurt them. And I really want you all to understand that Ty kidnapped her to help her. He still kidnapped her, but he kidnapped her to help her because he never touched her. Okay, can we agree on that? I don't care if you all agree, I agree. Do I have Stockholm Syndrome? Maybe. Ty was a good man. I don't care what you all say. Okay. So, um, yes, even though this was kind of spoiler filled, I still want you all, if you haven't, if you stuck around because you did not read Stolen, I want you all to read Stolen because it's really good. And the book price is not that bad either. I think Stolen is like $9. And that's a really good deal for this book. It's not even, it's, it's not even that long either um this it doesn't have and that's the weird thing it does not have page numbers and i i i always thought that that was crazy that it it or at least online it doesn't have page numbers does it have page numbers in this in the actual book oh the book because i never I, I told you i don't crack my babies open but online it doesn't so it's 299 pages um, the online version doesn't have, or the Kindle version doesn't have page numbers, or at least on mine it doesn't. I don't know. You know, they it acts stupid sometimes. So 299 pages. It's not that long. It's a quick read, quick read for me at least, because y'all know I'm a speed reader. So 299 pages. It's not that long. You guys can finish that in a few hours. Please read Stolen. It's really good. Let me know what you all think. So we're done talking about stolen because I don't want you all to keep thinking I have issues. But again, Ty was a good man. He was just in a bad situation. Okay, he can him with his ice blue eyes can come get me at any point in time. Ty, if you free, come get me. I don't have issues. Leave me alone. So at the end of every video, I always will. I I'm saying at the end of every video, like I done did like fifteen thousand videos. But ignore me whatever talk shit if y'all like so um locked up liars by l thorpe she just released this um i love me some l thorpe so i just wanted i don't know why i'm holding it off to the side hello so i wanted to give you all a little look at that go read locked up liars if you um 
did not read uh saint view high then i recommend reading saint view high because um some of the characters or so i've heard because i haven't read saint i haven't read uh locked up liars yet i'm reading another series right now then i'm gonna head to locked up liars so saint view high though was really 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 good so um i lost my train of thought which I do often. I don't know what the hell I was talking about and it just left my mouth. Anyway, go read Locked Up Liars, Elle Thorpe. Um, she's a really, oh, she is a really, really good author. Again, um, Save You High though first. That was a really good series. It's only three books in that series and they're rather short. So go read that. Um, but yes, we we are done for the day. I'm tired now. I'm I'm actually thinking about maybe rehashing on some stolen because um Ty was Ty was he poor Ty. Anyway, <coughs> oh Lord, coffee trying to take me out. Jesus, yes, goodbye. I did. I'm done. I'm done with y'all because you know. Coffee trying to take me out. Dog on iPad messing up. Goodbye. Bye, y'all. Thank you for joining me. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe below. And I will see you all later. Coffee running up my nose. Goodbye. I will see y'all later. <laughs>